morning. We got pizza last night after we left you. Um, we're going to Volcano Bay, which we're very excited about. Evidently so is Sam. <laughs> As we're saying at Cabana Bay, uh, Volcano Bay is just out the back door. So, in theory, it'll only take us a few minutes to walk there. Obviously, we're going to give that a theory test. Um, and because we're staying in Cabana Bay, we get into Volcano Bay an hour before day guests. Living that VIP life, though. Um, I've never been before. Sam has been before. So he's going to kind of lead the way today. Because um, I don't know nothing. And I don't really do water parks, so. Probably should also mention it's a water park. This camera's not waterproof. You won't be seeing a lot. But I'll let you know how it is. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> I see it! I see it! I see the Volcano Bay! Oh my god! Oh, it's not as warm as I wanted it to be for a water park day. We definitely should have done it yesterday. <laughs> yeah, you live and you learn though, I suppose. If you're staying at Cabana Bay and going over to Volcano Bay, you can take the pool towels over to the uh, park to save you from renting any. As mentioned earlier in this vlog series, Universal very kindly gifted Sam and I tickets uh, for both Universal Parks and also Volcano Bay. So whilst the weather's not on our side today, I've never been there and I really, really want to see it. So we're going to give it a go, make use of the ticket, and then we might hot skip and jump over to Islands of Adventure to do the water rides there because Sam loves those. And I haven't done them in a very long time. I haven't done Popeye since I came in 2010. Oh my god. Yeah. I think I did the log floating once and I got absolutely soaked for the rest of the day. I was like, nope, not again. Well, considering our room is like there and the entrance is there, it's pretty good. I'm already in love with this. So clean. guest entrance is amazing uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no one here we like that this ring on the tap okay can you get your tapu tapu here you go thank you here you go thank you i got my tapu tapu so a sam work it out woo uh this saves you waiting in line so you go and scan your tapu tapu and it gives you a wait time for your next attraction so you don't have to necessarily wait in whole Oh my god! That's ridiculous! It looks so much bigger inside! Adam hasn't been here before. Outside you're like, oh it's a volcano, like no big deal. And then you come inside like, what? <laughs> There's also no one here which I'm very excited about. Should we get right in front of the volcano? Yeah. It's pretty fine. I don't do sand. Neither does my camera. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kick these off. Just gonna, yep. There we go. Oh, it's wet sand as well. That's the worst kind of sand. Oh my god, the steam coming off it as well. Time to drown. That's a good indication though that the water's warmer than the outside. So, not difficult to be fair. <laughs> not today. <laughs> I know. I've got the fear. So this is what it looks like first thing in the morning. We're staying at one of the Universal Resort hotels. How are you doing there, Adam? Can you help? Oh, absolutely not. I sat on the end of the bed and I forgot that what happens when you do that. No, what what he missed is he was he was making a joke about how smart I was and then sat there and ended where he is now. Someone say that's the universe. Help me. No. So our plan is to do a lap of the park just to kind of show you guys what it looks like. And then we're going to pop the lockers to put all the valuables in because this camera's expensive. Uh, and then we're going to go for a couple of slides. Yeah, Co maybe a water roller coaster. Maybe. I'm so excited. We've got cabanas here. I've actually heard that if you split those between a few people, they're not that bad. My I think my friend's Crispy Small, they got one uh, between some other Orlando vloggers and it came out not too bad, so maybe next time. I'm already like, this is amazing, I love it, I'm coming back. 
This is the Tapu Tapu stand, so when the park's open to the public, you will come and scan your band to get uh, return time for the ride. I just spoke to one of the team members. If you can pay with this, you have to download the Universal app and link your ticket and also link a form of payment. So do you want to do that before we put stuff in the locker? Yeah, you've got your card and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you need some help linking your card to your band, uh, you can actually do that at the concierge, which is where we're planning on heading now, just so in case we want to buy something. We don't have to necessarily go back to the lockers and whatever. So, so we don't actually know how long we're going to be here. If it's really quiet, we could end up being here a while. <laughs> yeah. If you're looking for concierge when you come in, that's the stall. It's just on the left here. That was very easy. Um, I could have downloaded the Universal app or even done it online. Um, all you have to do is log into your Universal account, add your wallet, and then just go to Concierge and they'll link your like Tapu Tapu to your account. And you're done. You're all good to go. Quite like this. It's like a um, material that would be suitable for a water park. It's like a swim costume. Yeah. Ah. All day rental, twelve dollars. Okay, fine. All right. Check. Hang on, turn on me. Just you guys. Bye. Bye! See you later. Just got back to the sun lounges and picked up the stuff. We have had the best time. We've been playing park for like three and a half hours. We've done almost everything. We, everything. Did, we didn't get to do one because oh, yeah. <laughs> we weren't heavy enough. Oh, I never heard that before. <laughs> and the best part was it was a family raft so we were like, oh, it's just not enough people. And they were like, minimum of two people, and I was like, wow. Yeah, and we were like, oh, sorry, I'll have to put some weight on to be able to get on this ride. <laughs> Lol. Honestly, this is amazing. Like, there are so many little touches going around the park that make this such a cool day. We've been very, very lucky. There has been no one here. It's been raining pretty much. In fact, it's been raining for most of the time, apart from maybe the last hour. So there's been no one in the park. We've been on the Lazy River. We went on the Rapid River five times. <laughs> we did the normal Lazy River twice. We've done, yeah, all the big rides apart from the family one that we, we, we weren't heavy enough for. Well, Shame. We spoke to uh, the god of the, the oh, spirit of the volcano. Bring me back a slushy. <laughs> we were walking away. We were like, she's like, goodbye. Bring me a slushy. <laughs> And then she was singing as we were walking away and I went, oh, that's beautiful. She was like, you are beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, this park is insane. The, the detail, the quality of the rides, like whenever I've been to other water parks, it's kind of like hurt me going down slides, like, like do, 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 as you go over the, uh, the ribs in the slide and stuff. Not here. Had a great time. You've had a great time. It's had an amazing time. We'll be back. I'm going to go on a few more rides. <laughs> This is the one that we were too thin for. Boo! You basically turn to the side and you disappear now. Oh my god, where did you go? This here is a water roller coaster that goes like through the volcano and everything. That was one of my faves of the day. Going up to the top of that though, not for the faint hearted. Not because it's scary, but because you get out of breath quite quickly. This one was probably my favourite, it was like a two seater. And all you need to do is go like down. It's quite actually relaxing in a way. One thing I really like is they've got these little stands so you can put your flip flops and your towels by as you go on the ride. They've got a lazy river, but they've also got this rapids thing. And it's pretty quick. You have to wear like a floating device. I say device, it's a life jacket. Um, and you get pulled through and there's like a big wave machine in it and everything. We did that five times, loved it. This one's the Lazy River. Oh, what's this? Ah, a little water fountain, how lovely. That's fun. You can see just how quiet it's been today. It's been great. If you want to come to Volcano Bay, come on a day that it's raining and a little bit cold in December. Do everything in three hours. This one was probably the scariest one of the day for me. Because uh, we went on the blue one here, which has like these two big things that you just kind of swoop up and down like that. Um, I was going backwards, couldn't see what was coming, and ended up going like straight up. Scared the life out of me. It's fun, just scared the life out of me. <gasps> Look, a tapu tapu thing. Is there anybody coming? 
No. It's that quiet. There's no one coming. This is where we ate for lunch at the Kohola Reef. Reasonably priced, I think we paid 15, 16 dollars for that and a drink, which is the same as the quick services in uh, the resort actually. So it wasn't that taken aback by it at all. But really nice. I like the theming of it very much. Peace out, Volcano Bay. You were great. What a great day. You right there, Sam? Yep. Cleaning my feet. <laughs> I've recommended by the lovely staff member. Sammy. Is that what they were called? Yeah. There's something about the name. <laughs> if you have any desire to go to Cabana Bay or Volcano Bay, visit the other. Because the walk, it's like, we're in Volcano Bay. There is Cabana Bay. Volcano Bay? Cabana Bay. Volcano Bay. Cabana Bay. Back in the room. Great swim. Love Volcano Bay. I'll be going back. Uh, we are now planning on going to Universal Studios. Having a bit of time in uh, the main park to do the rides that we haven't done. So that includes E.T., Mummy Again, uh, Rip Ride and Rocket, Kong. Men in Black Kong, potentially the Hogwarts projection show, definitely the Universal Nighttime Spectacular, and then potentially over to Magic Kingdom to go and see Happy Ever After. We ain't crazy people. Ready to begin. Du, 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 du. Simon Cowell would not be impressed with that. It's a no from me. What you excited about, Phyllis? Nothing. I mean, what's the point? We go home tomorrow. Uh, well just end it now. You're a pass holder. <laughs> <laughs> Works every time. Yo ho, yo ho, to Universal we go. We had a very interesting drive on the way here, didn't we? Yeah, I, I think I liked it. <laughs> he was like talking around and he was like saying, what was he saying? He said, sometimes if I'm coming up to a red light, I just close my eyes and let Jesus take the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Entering Universal Studios, looking up at the big dark cloud, thinking, glad we brought the raincoat. Did I pack mine? Yes. Because I have your hoodie, so you could have your raincoat. Otherwise, Jesus take the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> the current, it's, the current is too strong. It's too strong. I'm happy. Starbucks is saving us this trip. I just forgot how to function from it. I actually just forgot how to function. <laughs> A very attractive man just walked past. There's a new Vodou Donut space which I've heard very good things about but I haven't had the chance to go in yet. I'm more of a savoury person, this music is very loud. Very loud. There I was holding my camera on the strap when the strap broke and my very expensive camera flew to the floor. Stop drinking my drink. <laughs> the camera is fine. This camera is very resilient. The amount of times I've dropped it this <laughs> Smashed it about eight times. <laughs> It takes a lot of breath, actually. It's a bit different not seeing pumpkins on these trees. I miss the pumpkins. You miss the pumpkins? You like Halloween though, don't you? I love Halloween. The Halloween Horror Nights here is pretty awesome. Horror Nights, fun fact, is why I came in October on my own. Wow! Me too, well. Actually, October's the reason I came, because they announced the Stranger Things one, and I was like, I'm coming for that. Yeah, Stranger Things was announced, and I was like, oh god. Well, Trick when... or Treat was announced, and I was like, game over. <laughs> when Stranger Things first, like, came out on Netflix, I was like, this has to be a Horror Nights thing. Three years later, it finally was, and it was the best house. Granted, the line was way too long. Express was 45 minutes. It shows you how long the main line was. Yeah. I only waited like 15, 20 minutes. I was lucky with mine. Did you stay in the park for like the... Yeah, I always did at last. So it did last, though. Yeah. It would have been like 1 or 2 a.m. So yeah. Pro tip. Remember what E.T.'s friends look like. The color's gonna be up to you to help E.T. find them once we get him home. 
and there's not a moment to lose because only E.T.'s magic healing touch can save his friends and bring the planet back to health. <laughs> we just did Men in Black, Thrash Sam, I'll, I'll, I'll let you have that one, you've got to win at something in life, am I right? Too real? I'm sorry. Adam, come back. We've added the Incredible Hulk to our plans because... I love it! Oh no, the review people, I'm just going to walk past. No, uh, we don't have any feedback for you today. Thank you so much though. We were planning on seeing the Hogwarts projection show this evening, but it's coming up to 7 o'clock and we really want to see the Universal Cinematic Spectacular again. Uh, I'm hungry. I am, I'm, I'm, I've been hungry. Sam is now hungry, which means that if we don't get Sam some food, he's gonna be hangry. <laughs> Don't. We're popping into the diner, otherwise known as the Die-In, during Hor uh, Halloween Horror Nights. Because you actually, you, he said, we can go to the Die-In. <laughs> um, so we're yeah, planning on to pick up food, then we're going to try and get a spot for the show. Turns out we're not seeing the show, because the show isn't on today. I'm a vegetarian and I'm eating chicken. That's where we're at. It is good. <laughs> We're heading over to Magic Kingdom now. Hopefully to see Happy Ever After, although we have heard the park is extremely busy. So we'll see what happens. We've got an hour until Happy Ever After starts, which is good because that means we're going to catch it as long as the park is not at capacity. Because there's been Christmas parties all week apart from today. So the, oh my goodness, there's a lot of people. We're only at the transportation and ticket centre and there's already a lot of people. Anyway, we're getting dropped off at the Grand Floridian. We're gonna pop in there, hopefully see the band or the pianist on. Um, Cause Sam's never seen them before. And when we went in earlier, it was before four, which is when they start playing. Um, and then we're gonna get the monorail around to the park. Look at them looking as cute as they are. They're the magical reindeer. Look at the magical reindeer. I feel better. He's got his band on. So we just got to Grand Floridian. It's very busy to the point where this is the line for the monorail. We're not sure we're going to make it to Magic Kingdom in time for my works. We're having a bit of an interesting evening. So because we can't board the monorail at the Grand Floridian, or likelihood is if we waited for the monorail at the Grand Floridian, we probably wouldn't get on it. Um, we are now walking through the Polynesian from the Grand Floridian to the Transportation Ticket Centre to hopefully get a monorail or a ferry over to Magic Kingdom and hopefully get into the park. There's a chance that this isn't going to work out, but we're doing our best. So hi everyone, this is the Polynesian. We're only just passing through. La la la, la la la. Very nice, love it. Right, let's go. Got their own record breaking time. Yes. So far, so far, we're doing good. We're Do doing not good. jinx this yet. There's not a line for the express monorail. Yay! So far, so good. Please stand clear of the door. Por favor, manténganse alejado de la puerta. We're going through the contemporary. Something has spotted on this monorail. That bothers me. Hello, people. <gasps> Donald, go think. Okay, the exam is back. We're good. <laughs> the contemporary's busy tonight as well. <laughs> La 
the 76th annual Hunger Games begin! Use the stairs, use the stairs, and beat all the peasants away from the stairs. We've made it to the Magic Kingdom. Approximately 15 minutes before Happily Ever After kicks off. I need a wee, but I'm pray holding it. I'm holding me. it. We'll hold it. Pray for us. Pray for us. Are we going to survive? This is the busiest night of the year, apparently. For one of. It's the most magic good night. Sure, 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 sure. Don't go in that way. If all the turnstiles are coming in this way, go in the opposite side. Happiest place on earth, happiest place on earth, happiest place on earth. That's actually Disneyland, this is the most magical place on earth. Oh, thank god, I thought I was gonna have to enjoy myself tonight. <laughs> Main Street is busy, but it looks like you can still squeeze in some places, so we're gonna go into the Emporium and slide out where we can. This is the busiest I've seen it. And, Good evening, like, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to get in because it looks like this. And I mean, we're sad about it, but at the same time, I'm not dealing with it. So we're going to go to the Tangle Toilet and watch the fireworks from there. I would much rather do something else than ruin my memories of this show. Yeah. So, so we just got lantern photos. That's the line. It's like 10, 15 people long during the fireworks, and this is on a very, very busy night, so... Even though we didn't get to see Happy Brother from the front of castles. Did you like it from the tangle toilets? Damn it, I said I wouldn't die. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Right, um... Oh, oh god. I love it, I love it. I love it. The music gets me every time. It was nice to get a London photo as well, whilst the wait was so short as well. Not waiting 40 minutes for that. Not today, Satan. We managed to get some fast passes. Granted, we got these a few days ago, but we're going on Space Ranger Spin. The park was supposed to be open until 10 p.m. and then have extra magic hours until midnight. Uh, however, earlier in the week, for some reason, they changed the extra magic hours into just normal operating hours. Uh, and at that point, we also managed to get fast passes as well because we checked when they had just updated the opening times. So now the park's open until midnight. Hopefully, we can survive. Very, very busy. You might remember this lovely thing from the October trip. Now it's been so cold that we haven't actually had to use it this holiday, but now there's so many bodies in this park, it's getting a little bit hot. It's his biggest fan! It's on Beyonce. Uh, you're so polite, you really are. I'm delightful. <laughs> Energize. Woo! He's taking the role of me on this, just spinning until the other person throws up. Alright, I'm, I'm really dizzy now. I'm really. I'm gonna throw up! Please stop! Ah! If you can find the camera in the black wall, you can get a pretty good shot. I wish more of my leg was in it. Yeah. Honestly. Due to the amount of people we're currently dealing with, we're going on the Carousel of Progress because who does? Great. Oh, I oh no no wait, that's a great thing. Are we going to do that again? Okay. Uh, so pretend that didn't happen. Um, we're going to go on the Carousel of Progress because it's very busy and there is always a great big beautiful tomorrow. No. No. This bothers me. It bothers me. It's too big. It's too big. 
If you are wondering why we've been quoting that this entire vacation, look up Miss Coco Peru. She's a drag queen and I love her to pieces. I saw her live, she was great, but that's one of my catchphrases. And boy, they don't pick up their trash, they don't call 311. They do a nice panatome. Nice panatome. Welcome to Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress. Uh, you're in for a real treat. The Carousel of Progress was Walt's own idea from beginning to end. Now all our household items will do anything we tell them to do. Great. Hell, a refrigerator bring me a root beer. We've now got a fast pass for one of Sam's favorite rides, the Haunted Mansion. Yeah, we do. We just bumped into Yaz and Ash. They run uh, Magical Day Apparel. I'll link them below. Lovely people. So nice to bump into them. Um, the park is still busy, but it's nowhere near as busy as it was just uh, before Happy Ever After. So, I mean, it's, it's busy. It's very busy. <laughs> this is like... I don't know, midday on a busy day. We persevere. Oh my god. <laughs> I love that noise. We don't know how, but Enchanted Tales Bell just went down to a 10 minute wait. That, or it just reopened. <laughs> and this one likes Bell a lot. If you didn't hear from the last vlog when we went to Epcot and saw the Beauty and the Beast stuff, and he was like, <gasps> I mean, actually, according to like seven year old me, she's an ex, so it <laughs> could be a bit awkward. <laughs> Someone wants to be the suit of armor. I think I see a gray suit of armor switching right here. Here you go, sir. When it comes down right next to Madam Wardjo for me, please. Right next to Madam Wardjo. And right here in the back, there is also Marky for me. Here you go. We'll need someone to play the mask. And right here next to me for me, please. And of course, we need someone to play the lead. Suits of armor. March. Please stop those feet. Hurry, shiver. All right, round of applause for our cast, everybody. Great job. Oh, oh Ben, where are you, Mademoiselle? Oh, you here? Now! Surprise! What a wonderful surprise! <laughs> nice to see you all alone. I think I wanted to do the So we can go home happy now? I live in the castle now. <laughs> My name is Sir Sam now. Oh, you're, you're moving in, yeah? <laughs> Pass holder and knight in shining armor, it's only... Sir Samuel. Oh, oh my. <laughs> I do declare... Anyway, <laughs> uh, we're heading around to Big Thunder Mountain uh, and then we're calling it a night because it's... I mean, it's not that busy anymore because we're coming close to like the last hour of the park. It's, it's thinned out, um, but at the same time, <sighs> we've had a long day. Hopefully this will wake us up a little bit to be able to get back to the room. Magic Kingdom, you've been magical, you've been festive, and we've had the best time. 
But now it is time to stroll down Main Street for the last time this trip. But don't worry, we'll be back. Pass holders. It's too soon. Oh. Whilst I'm not filming tomorrow because we're traveling home, um, there will be a Disney vlog next week. I am planning to bring you a new Disney vlog every week now. I know! I'm gonna be coming here a lot. I'm putting that past, uh, that annual pass to uh, good use. There's a child crying. There's a child crying there. All right, anyway, thank you to Sam for coming along. It's been wonderful having Sam along. Thank and you for having me. You've helped me try some things I haven't done in a while, and we've had some great memories. Miss Coco Peru quotes. I dragged you on a lot. Of you did drag me on a lot of things I did not want to go on. <laughs> and gave me a nosebleed from one of them. But hey, we move on. So, thanks for watching this little mini series, and we'll see you next week. Well, he won't necessarily be here, but I'll see you next week. Like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to see my future stuff. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.